And so when I came um, to do the stone carving, which was a present, a birthday present to me from my sister, Liza, who's also <laughs> done the stone carving this week, I wasn't really very sure what to do. I thought I'd perhaps try and find a piece of stone and have some inspiration just from the shape. And we'd actually been watching red kites on the um, Chiltern Escarpment on Sunday, the day that we arrived. Um, to do the stone carving on the Monday and I was sort of looking for a piece of stone and I saw this piece which seemed to sort of give me the wing lift of a, of a bird, of the kite. Um, so I was lucky to find a triangular piece and I just went with that. Um, I really enjoyed finding the shape within the stone. Um, Hannah's been really helpful because she um, showed me how you can get a three-dimensional sort of look. I think I was sort of thinking two-dimensional even though I knew I wanted to get the lift. And she helped me get the tail because it being a triangular piece it came to a point here. And um, she, show, she showed me that by going down with the other point of the kite's tail, which is so diagnostic of a red kite, um, that I could get the depth, I could get the, the length of, the, of both points of the tail. Um, I've loved working with it because I've, I've only ever done wood carving before and that was a long time ago. And the wood always gave me um, something with the grain that I could see what to do and I thought that I wasn't going to get that with stone but just the way you chip away, just, just the way it chips off gives you, oh I can do that and I can do that and so it does, it's it's wonderful stuff. I've, I've had a great week. My best birthday present.